first day of bats. I mean, it was a great day. Lots of physical collisions, you know, getting our legs back up under us, finally having somebody, you know, in front of us and going truly, you know, 110% live reps. So it was good for the guys. Lots of great work. Lots more to come, for sure. First day of pass for Guyton, too. How do you think he did? Oh, he did great. Uh, he worked through it. You know, there was some fatigue there, you know, with everybody, you know, me included. But he worked through it. He did great in terms of, like, just working his technique, in terms of giving effort. And so he's a, it's a good day to build on. Is there a timing issue with pass on your first day? Uh, in terms of, you know, trying to get along on the offense and getting off the snap? I mean, there's definitely, like, you know, there's there's some nuance there. I feel like guys are definitely, you know, kind of in that mindset where they're going harder. So we just got to be tight on the details of things, I really do think, in terms of, like, snap count and pre-snap stuff. But, yeah, there's definitely, you know, a little edge. Everybody has a little edge to them on that first day. Third day of camp, third camp for you. you old veteran, what are you? Man, I'm <laughs> I'm improving. I'm flourishing. But yeah, I am kind of the vet. You know, I'm the more experienced guy in the room now. So, you know, I got to be that. You know, that light for the young guys. Kind of show them how it's done. Kind of peeking to your right shoulder. That competition at center. Brock Hoffman had you know a couple pancakes out there. Talk about his development. In that competition. I mean, Brock has been great. You know, Brock, his attitude. You know, that's one of the greatest facets of his game. You know, his his attention to detail when it comes to technique and just doing all the little things right. I think he's brought us all leagues ahead of where we were in terms of stuff that he's brought to our room. You know, he's doing a great job. You know, Coop's doing a great job as well, you know, in terms of learning the offense, you know, being on his keys and stuff. But it's going to be a really interesting competition in that center position for sure. You, you talked about how Tyler Guyton played today, but just in your time around him since he got drafted, what have you thought of him? Man, I, I really – I've been truly impressed. You know, it's, it's not very often you find a human being, you know, with – who measures how he does, who's 6'7", like 330 and has light feet and just move and just bully dudes. So when he really, you know, when he becomes confident, when he gets the playbook down and does all that stuff, the sky truly is the limit for him, his development. When he was able to, he was able to hold his own today a couple of times against Lyco, what can that do for his team? I mean, that's huge for him. But one thing I will say, just just when I met him, he's a confident guy. Like, he knows, he knows the tools that he has. He knows how rare they are. And it's just a matter of time, you know, before he solidifies things and he's playing at that, you know, that truly elite, elite level. Can you talk about the mindset of being a first round pick with the expectations of having to come in and, and start? Because, I mean, you had that. I, and there's I, some pressure that goes along with that as well? I mean, I definitely think there's there's some external pressure. But one thing that, you know, I've even talked to TG about is just putting on the blinders. You know, at the end of the day, you know, we're here to be the best we can be. You know, everybody's going to have, you know, an opinion about who you should be or how you should do it. But the important thing is to come in and work, you know, work every day to do things at a championship standard. And that's one thing that, you know, he's understands. That's one thing he's doing. And so, yeah. Speaking of Micah, just what's it like seeing him in this new role where he's playing more off-ball linebacker and all that stuff when you look up and play against him? I mean, I love it because, I, I mean, Mike is such a dangerous athlete with the things he can do off the ball, on the ball. And so I feel like when he's operating at, you know, at 110% in this kind of this new scheme and the way he's scheming, he's going to be an extremely dangerous dude for opposing teams. Just looking across the line a little bit at the defensive part of it. Um, what are you seeing from Ozzie Smith? He's bigger, his strength is there, but it's looked like his quickness off the ball. Like just in his, his progression for you. Too. Truly, I think he's a lot faster than he was. I think I think that experience piece is definitely starting to hit for him. Just in, in terms of some of the things he does, you know, as soon as the ball snaps, in terms of just understanding like how he's leveraged, what leverage he's trying to get to, what points he's trying to hold down. You know, I'm very excited this season to you know see him flourish and truly come into that more. But he's he's improving very well. Now that you got one practice on in pads, does it now feel like football season? Oh, yeah, it felt like football season a couple of weeks ago, bro. I'll be honest <laughs> with you. But, like, we're definitely getting to it now. And I'm just, you know, I'm happy to finally, you know, have somebody in front of me, you know, with some armor on. So, yeah. When you look around, you know, when those first hits are coming, like, what do you see? I mean, man, you see bodies, dog. And I mean, you can kind of see it from the side, but, you know, dudes are on the ground. You know, dudes are getting, you know, tripped up. Dudes are getting ran over. But that's part of it is, just, you know, being able to keep your calm in the, in the midst of battle. And so I think it's great for us to finally, you know, be able to hit and, like, you know, knock each other. Obviously, you know, we're not trying to, you know, hurt anybody, but, you know, to be able to get physical because that's, that's the game of football, fast physical finish. How, how those, long does it how take? How those moments feel? Just such a long buildup, offseason, no teams, mini camp to finally get the hit like that. I mean, it's huge for us, but I feel like, you know, one thing we do a great job of is even without the pads, just keeping that physicality, you know, working the technique, you know, working the steps, working the leverage and stuff like that. So when we do put the pads on, you know, it's more physical, but, you know, it's nothing new to us for sure. How long does it take you to get used to wearing pads again? I'm used to it right now. All good? Just one practice? All good. That's all we needed. Put them on in the off season? Off season? Nah, but we'll put a helmet on or something just to, you know, 
kind of visualize, but no pads in all season. You got to give your body a break. You what got do you to. need to improve at? I think I can improve in every facet of my game, honestly. And I think that's kind of, you know, that's an old lineman's pursuit is the pursuit of perfection. And so, you know, foot speed, you know, being even in your sets, being tight with your hands is a big thing for me. Timing of a punch, you know, timing off the snap and leverage and stuff like that. So I'm trying to truly improve in every facet and just continue to ascend. What have you gotten better at over the course of the year, if you would say? I definitely think I'm stronger than I was, you know, as crazy as that is. I definitely think I'm stronger. You know, I think uh, in terms of just understanding the scheme and what we're trying to do each play so I can play smarter. You know, you can play with a lot, not necessarily less energy, but you can be more efficient at how you move. So I think I'm more efficient with that for sure. Speaking of that perfection, he's not perfect. Zach Martin's a guy who has done it at a high standard. Mike said this morning that his consistency is what sets him apart. What, what have you seen on a day-to-day in -day your career that you want to emulate from Zach? I mean, it's kind of like you said. I mean, that consistency piece is huge for me. I think that's truly what makes a great old lineman is doing things, not only the amazing things you do, you know, after the snap, but doing it consistently. And so I've, I've copied this process a lot in terms of how he sets, you know, the philosophy of his set, in terms of staying square, in terms of staying low, in terms of just cutting space and getting hands on and stuff like that. So I think he's really, you know, he's been a, a pillar for me in terms of my development for sure. You entered the NFL with a lot of strength. How have you gotten stronger? Uh, weight room. <laughs> weight room is a big thing. I mean, it ain't no secret. You know, the work is the work. You know, if you want to get stronger, you got to go harder. So that's one thing, you know, I try to do in all season for sure is just improve in terms of, like, core, arms, legs, you know, the whole a holistic approach. Okay, so what was that look like? What were you benching and then what you benching now? I mean, we don't we don't max no more, but, you know, we're doing, like, you know, 350, 330 for, like, five sets of five, stuff like that. Nothing crazy, but that's kind of what so, it is. So, Combine, you did 225, however many reps. How, much, how many could you do now? How many could I do now? Man, I don't tell him, bro. You know, combine was so long ago, but I say like 70. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no problem, <yeah. laughs>